Greetings, fellow scavengers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Heart Attack, Episode 4, Well Guarded. Come on, Cloud. I just want my arrow back. going to do the first poll of this stream because I don't think it's of too much consequence so what to upgrade next I could either do communications um, outposts or workshop or empty building slot so for communications just to explain it would be the command center I'd be bringing that up to level 2. That gives me another outpost to clean. Uh, if I upgrade the outposts, I would be upgrading either the abandoned clinic or the food. Probably the food. Um, and that would uh, increase its passive scouting range and, and secure the area a little bit more. If I upgrade the workshop, it would allow me to craft uh, toolkits, Molotov suppressors, crossbows. Um, crafting toolkits, of course, is not going to be possible until I get a mechanic. Because uh, it requires knowledge of mechanics to do. But, um, or good. the empty uh, building slot. So the empty building slot would be this one. I and I'd probably just build a latrine it, for morale. Code, but if I decipher it, maybe I can so those are the four wait. options. Have you guys vote right there about what you, what you want me to build next. No luck here. And there's a trouble trader. All right, it's just a regular trouble trader. Not the network traders. So, a major threshold would probably be. Waking up the hearts and trying to take one out. So if you're wondering what I think it will take Where to get to here? that point, it's going to be like having a lot of stamina consum consumables and a heavy oh, weapon for me to just heavy weapon bash way. the heart to death. And then having the facilities to be able to recover quickly. So we already have Infirmary 2, so that's a start. But also having other people I can swap to in case one gets real messed up from the attempt, which is very likely to happen. Corporality is to trade and scavenge for materials, so I'm going to head back to base and drop off all the stuff I have. And then try to find those building materials and hit up the Tremble Trader. Because maybe the, the Tremble Trader typically will have um, gardening stuff that can be useful. What does communications do? Communications allows me to get another uh, outpost. No room for that. Order has arrived. And also, it will allow me to do radio broadcasts for more influence once I complete, you know, accomplish stuff. What is Lethal Plus? So the plus means um, I have other requirements, like not using freebies and the like, to make it a little harder than just lethal alone. So none of the um, legacy survivors, my initial people were all random None of the freebies, nothing like that. So it's lethal with added things to make it a little trickier. Some 
There is a mod. There are mods to make the game even harder um, than lethal. I don't think they've been updated for this. I, I can almost guarantee you they haven't been updated because this just came out, but who knows? But there's a, there's a mod set called Lethal Dark Side, which is like much harder than lethal. Okay, those screamers didn't didn't scream. That's good. Uh, and Plague that mod set Better be careful. ramps the really ramps the difficulty up a lot, but almost to the point where it's like gruelingly slow. So it, it doesn't necessarily make for interesting stream content because it's so slow paced with how difficult it is to loot and clear and kill and whatnot and quest. Some trading. Yeah, okay. I'm with the network, visiting from Trumbull Valley. Anything you need? Can you ain't? Oh, there you go. I'm with the network, visiting from Trumbull Valley. So, Anything compo spins need? are... Uh, might be worth me stocking up now for, just because they're very handy later on. So that's the only thing I'm going to buy. And you guys want me to work on comms. Got it. I want to get over to the spacious warehouse, but like not piss off everything on the way there. So I'm going to take sort of the southern route so that I don't aggro too many zombies, because I don't want to be waking up any hearts. So taking the scenic route and hoping to avoid screamers, if at all possible. He saw me, but one is fine. Oh, in fact, he didn't even see me. Freebie. So Anna still has burning lungs from getting bloater boomed, but uh, Upasana is already fully recovered. So that's good. I have someone, if I get injured or, or tired or whatever, I have someone to swap to. Who's healthy? I mean it gets this. What difficulties are there? This place is cleaned out. Um, so lethal is the hardest by far. Uh, stepping down from lethal, there's nightmare, uh, dread, normal, and green. I think. So if you take a look in the settings, actually, I don't know if I can change it on the fly. But yeah, there's green zone, which is like state of decay on training wheels. Everything is extraordinarily easy. And then standard, dread, nightmare, and lethal. And then there is also different settings. So um, you can have like lethal for resource scarcity, but like green for zombie difficulty. You can sort of mix and match. That's pretty heavy. Which is uh, which is cool. Not bad. But I'm playing on lethal across the board. Everything is as hard as it can be ramped up. Right, here's the difficulty, yeah. So there's action, community, and map difficulty. Uh, map difficulty, once you start, changing the map difficulty doesn't really change. But uh, it looks like map difficulty says 28 to 30 plague hearts on lethal. Oh, interesting. I guess that those numbers did change. Head. Oh, why is there a feral here?
Yeah, now on lethal, the amount of plague hearts that you get is even more ridiculous because plague hearts daisy chain together and awake one another. So the harder the map difficulty with more plague hearts, the more ridiculous it will get because you end up in a situation where you wake one up, you wake four up, or three up, or something like that, right? So it's a it's a feedback loop, which is even more dangerous. Well, I wanted to continue looting that spacious warehouse, but a feral moved in, and it's not an immediate way to wake up the the heart killing a pharaoh, but like it will do a lot of damage to the wake up mechanics. So I'm gonna try to avoid the feral if I can. It just like wandered through. What knowing ferals is gonna like wander back towards me and try to gank me. That and I can't. There's no one tapping a feral in the head. All right, he saw me. Oh, there's a bloater on the ground over there. Is there anywhere not covered by hearts? Yeah, there's some places, but just not very much. I think this section up here might be a good place to scout, because it looks like north of town doesn't have a lot of heart cover. carrying all this I think at this point the ferals like sitting on my car yep nothing more to see it didn't look as bad oh it's because I haven't fully explored the map you know there's probably four here three or four here three or four here, right? I don't have them all scouted. So I only know of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but there's probably 12, 16, you know, so on and so forth. The more I reveal. Hey, Gecko, thank you for the resub. So what am I gonna do with this feral that's like sitting on my car? I don't have lures. All right, it's moving away. And there's just normal zombies <laughs> on the wall on the other side. Interestingly, oh god, there's a juggernaut over there. Interestingly, the building materials that I found in there was not the scouted building materials. So there's going to be building materials in here as well. Because it's still highlighted for scavenging for materials. Damn, it's locked. And it's trolling me hard because I can't open the door without making noise. But if I make noise, like the juggernaut next to me is going to hear it. Nope. I'll be back later. There's enough zombies in there. Get off. That if I kill them, it's gonna piss the heart off. Because there was like five or six of them, and I'm not gonna be able to do that all stealth.
So I think the limit of the plague territory is about this bridge or so. So I could kill anything on this side of the bridge. But any closer to town and uh, I wake the heart up. Zombies don't see the light that you wear. Yeah. So that's that's not uh, pissing them off. It was just that I like opened the door and stood on top of their heads. That was kind of the problem. Is that a screamer? Yes. So, proof of that. Well, okay. He saw me, but... Why did you choose this map? I didn't. It was random. I uh, put up a poll on my YouTube page about what map to play, and 54% said random map. So I just randomized it and got Cascade. That plague heart can't be far away. I think I smell it. Well, now there's a juggernaut guarding the, um, the loot site. How does long does, does the car last? As long as I am careful. So, probably not that long. Where'd that jug go? Ah, oh, he's still there. I'll try to detour around him. Oh no, here's one that I have to kill. Sorry, heart. At some point, I might end up with the alert notice. Time flies, yeah. Thanks, Monkey Blast, for the, uh, the 20th month. <laughs> At some point, we might see a, uh... An alert that the heart is stirring. The heart stirring alert means that the heart has hit... Oh, sh sugar. The heart has hit 75% wake up. And that uh, extreme caution is advised. I'll put it that way. All right, come on. Come out to the edge of town so I can kill you with no consequence. Watch out for benches. <laughs> At least the benches won't destroy my... Oh, that's a screamer. At least the benches won't destroy my car. Just stop me dead. Is that screamer really not going to turn the corner? Really going to make me come to you and you're hiding behind a post? Shut up already! Come on. Let me lure you away from the heart you belong to. And then smush you with my bumper. Where that juggernaut got off to, though. He was really the one I was worrying about because he's like guarding the shed I need to loot.
So I know that um, I'm not in the zone, A, because it's, you know, it's pretty visible that I'm not in the plague territory, but I've definitely just killed enough zombies over there that had I been in plague territory, I would have woken up the heart. So I'll say conservatively, the marker that I have on the ground is probably the edge point. I heard a screamer. Oh yeah, there it is. And that screamer's probably inside the zone. Let's see if I can't snipe him. Come on, big boy. So there's this juggernaut and a feral, and then maybe I'll get the building materials. <laughs> oh, the lengths you have to go for building materials. Another one of those uh, pseudo invincible jugs. I wish there was an advantage to like running them over while their back is turned. That'd be nice. Some way to like uh, do it more efficiently. If you don't have access to like grenade launchers and 50 cal rifles. There goes the the door. The reason I don't maintain contact with the juggernaut is it can slam and damage stuff as you just noticed with the rear door that it took off. So I like to do the sort of bumping hit runs because if it makes contact with the car like that, it will destroy the vehicle and, I'll, and I can't make repair kits so that would be pretty bad for the warranty of the vehicle but this ba bad boy is uh, threatening to be even worse than the first one that I had to kill because I've hit him like a dozen times and he's still fine That was, again, a lot of effort, but plague samples are kind of nice early on when you need to make a lot of cure. Oh, it won't let me open the trunk because of the way I parked. That's fair. Thank you. That's good news. 
This world needs all the tough bras it can get. Oh, you pulled my door off. So there's a screamer in the path between me and the feral, hypothetically. Now? So last I checked, that yeah, there's still feral over here. 80 meters that way. But I'm going to need to take out the screamer first. Because it's in the heart's area of influence. Alright, feral. It's you and me. I've never put in this much effort into looting uh, one... Building material. All right, buddy, come here. You see me? Yep. All right, here we go. That was weird. Eh, dead is dead. Don't really care how it happens. Now, unless the game decides to throw even more junk in my way, I should have a clear path between me and the building materials. <laughs> like half an hour later. I better stay on my toes while I'm in plague territory. Okay. I got that one before he screamed. Uh oh no, this is not good. She just screamed because she saw the car, drawing everyone in. And there's no way to keep the heart quiet if I clear that group. So I'm just going to run her away for now until they disperse. I do find it really interesting that... um. Given the game mechanics, obviously they made it so that, like, you don't need to go full stealth. You just can't go Rambo on zombies. This is an oversimplification, but given that, that the penalty is mostly that you can't go Rambo on zombies, the ramifications of that is that it makes it seem like the Plague Hearts really only care about threats to the heart, right? Like, the zombies can spot me, other than Screamers. The zombies can spot me... I'm just, I just can't kill them without consequence, right? So the heart only really sees me as a threat once they start wiping out its own. Which is, uh, kind of an interesting mechanic as a result. Isn't lighting reducing my stealth? No, l the light doesn't matter at all. As you can see, they are blind. This is like the most well-guarded house I've ever seen. There's so many zombies around it. They mentioned that driving around would awaken them. Oh, it would. If you drive around and and, and screamers spot you as you drive, 100% you'll awaken hearts. I just have avoided screamers uh, while driving around so that the, uh, the hearts aren't pissed off. So this building is still completely chock full of zombies, which is going to be annoying.
Because they'll spot me. Please come out. If I had firecrackers, I could lure them away. Maybe I can snipe them. So, Mudcomplex, I already explained why the Builder Boon, um, but I'll reiterate because you missed it. It's because a huge amount of the new content changes the way outposts work. So I picked the Builder Boon so that I could have more outposts to demonstrate the newer content. Jackpot. Whoa, yeah, no kidding. That was the jackpot. This storage unit uh, was worth all of the annoyance. Surprisingly, I was kind of expecting it to be to suck, but nope. It made me jump through all those hoops and then actually rewarded me for once. Well, time for me to move and crazy on. enough, that if wasn't trouble, the scavenge point. I still have the scavenge highlighter. So there's like even more building materials I haven't happened upon, which is nuts. Hey, very Brad. Uh, yeah, I, so my TLDR of this update is it's, and I've, I've said this again, repeating myself, uh, definitely the best one it has had to date. Better than the other 32. Far with all this. I am thoroughly impressed with how much they made the game dynamic. Um, and as a result, the playstyle is very different, now. as I'm sure you've noticed. You can't just go rampaging through town um, without consequence. Or if you do, uh, you will have holy hell to pay. Actually, I'm going to leave this unsearched so I know to come back here. Because if I fully search it, it will look like I've uh, cleared it. Because it has building materials and a lot of other stuff I don't have room for. It's probably safest if I don't drive through town, but instead go up to the Ricky Old Barn. Forever Communities was a really nice update if you wanted, like, sort of a new game plus mode, but I haven't, I don't, I have not really used Forever Communities yet. Oh, are you going to wake the heart? It is stirring. It's two screams and it wakes. So a, a play heart stirs means I've hit the 75% I've pissed it off threshold. So this heart here, the windmill house heart, is uh, is close to being woken up. It will unstir after 56 minutes. If I don't continue to piss it off for about an hour, it will go back to normal. And things that piss it off, piss it off is killing zombies, killing anything within its range that is alerted, or uh, having screamers scream, or hitting the heart. Uh, but that is kind of obvious. Yes, if you melee the heart, <laughs> it will piss it off. far with all this I 
never looted the Norma. Oh, you know what's funny? This Norma is uh, from the mechanics quest that just popped up. This Norma wasn't here before. Uh, so I'm going to quickly do their little quest line, I guess. But doing quests for other enclaves is um, a lot harder in this update because you can't just, you know, rest. kill willy-nilly around them. I'm going to switch off this character, though. He needs to retire for a bit. Oh, did I take the parts and then stash them? Yeah, I did. Okay. Let me fix that. Okay. I didn't get blood plagued with the other one. What are their names? I should probably start... Nomad, Anna, and Opasana. I do not want to know what makes plague territory smell this bad. So the three screamers would definitely piss the heart off. Gotta stay away from that. One thing I'm not sure of is if an enclave pisses off the screamers. I don't know if I pay for it in the same way, but I don't want to find out. I know that the Enclave can kill zombies, and it doesn't penalize me, but I don't know about Screamers. We're mechanics. I'm teaching our newbie the ropes. Well, I'm trying to, at least. I'm fine, by the way. Thanks for asking. Alright, find the vehicle so carrying like the lost parts. Kinda already did that. <laughs> That's right. I want to set up shop and get some of the busted cars around here working again. Gotta do something, yeah? I hear you. Truck is trashed. Let's hope the parts are still there. Hey, I found it. Okay, done. Right on. Have I managed to get any loot from freaks that spawn infestations yet? No, because I uh, haven't. I, did, I don't have any uh, awakened hearts yet, so there are no infestations. Not on this playthrough, but I have on the uh, uh, when playtesting. I got, like, guns and muzzle attachments and stuff like that. Thanks. All right, happy to help. And standing his gun up. Is anyone getting close to Hero? So Ana's pretty close to Hero. Upasana's also pretty close. No, all three are really close, actually. Hey, you. Let's make a deal. All right. And it's I'm going to buy their toolkit. So I am not able to do repair kits yet. Also looks like their garage is uh, has loot. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Heart Attack, which originally streamed live on Twitch May 11th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. 
If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers, 